हेलो एंड वेलकम टू आउट मटेरियल्स फ्रेंड्स हैव यू अवर हिट द लिमिट विथ योर स्टैंडर्ड कैरेटोम भी आपके साथ ऐसा हुआ है कि आप कैरेटोमेट्रिक कर रहे हो और कॉर्निया इस कैरेटोमीटर के लिमिट से बियॉन्ड चला गया हो एज वी नो कि कॉर्निया की जो लिमिट होती है यूजली द लोअर लिमिट इज 36 सिक्स एंड द अपर लिमिट इज 52 तो 36 सिक्स एंड फिफ्टी टू डैप्टर पावर के बीच में ही आप कॉर्निया मेजर कर सकते हो बट देर आर कंडीशन लाइक कैराटोकोनस और सम अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ एक्टेजिया फ्लैट कॉर्निया लाइक पोस्ट लेसिक या पोस्ट रिफ्रैक्टिव सर्जरीज में वे कॉर्निया बिकम्स वेरी फ्लैट है तो जहाँ पे कॉर्निया बहुत ज़्यादा फ्लैट है 36 से कम या कॉर्निया इतना स्टीप है जो कि 52 से ज़्यादा तो वैसे सिचुएशन में आप कैसे कैराटोमेटिक करते हो सो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर डाइविंग इन टू अ न्यू कंसेप्ट With this keratometer, which is known as extended keratometry. To do the extended keratometry, you will have to remember these two magical lenses. One is plus 1.25 diopter, and other is minus 1 diopter. Using these two lenses, we do the extended keratometry. We use this plus 1.25 diopter to extend the reading of the keratometer. That means, if the cornea is steep. यानी कि ऐसे सिचुएशन में जब आपकी वैल्यू 52 से ज़्यादा जा रही है तो वहाँ पे आपको एक्सटेंड करने की ज़रूरत है तो प्लस 1.25 पॉइंट डायरेक्टर आपको करेटोमीटर के ऑब्जेक्टिव लेंस के सामने रखना है एंड विद दिस यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सटेंड दी रीडिंग ऑफ दी करेटोमीटर एंड अगर कॉर्निया फ्लैट है एंड द रीडिंग इज Uh, below 36 diopter, diopter so you will have to use this minus one diopter lenses in front of keratometer, keratometer lens, objective lens, and with this you will be able to decrease or extend the reading below 36 diopter. diopter After using the keratometry or extending the keratometry, we'll have to make some calculations. The calculations is very simple. Whatever the value you will get after placing this plus 1.25 diopter in front of the objective lens you will get some values what you have to do you will have to multiply that value to 1.185 and the value that will come will be the extended keratometric value similarly if you are using the minus 1 diopter you will have to multiply the value what it has come with 0.84 and this value will be the extended keratometric values this is the bosnian model of manual keratometer it gives us two values k1 and k2 horizontal as well as the vertical reading this is a vertical and this is a horizontal and through here you can find the axis uh, the details of this keratometry or keratometer is already covered in my previous videos you can have a look this is a, a dummy eye uh, over here which has a curvature of 7.5 so before showing you the extended keratometer let me see whether this keratometer is calibrated or not so friends this is okay, the mayor this of is perfectly 7. calibrated five. as you can see the reading is 7.5 uh, on the board which is 45 diopter which is matching with the dummy cornea I'm going to use this plus 1.25 to extend the keratometric values so you have already seen the mias what for 7.5 it was 45 uh, k1 and k2 so we are going to place this over here and see that how much we can extend the same 7.5 m of the cornea so now you can see this mias which was aligned earlier is out of focus so we are going to make focus this so friends using the extended keratometry with plus 1.25 we got 39 diopter at vertical meridian as well as 39 which is 8.65 uh, with the horizontal meridian now as we know that to for the extended keratometry we will have to do a small calculations so the value what we got was 39 diopter we will have to multiply 1.18 multiplying this the value came 46.25 so this 
much of the k values we have extended from 39 to 46 now we are going to extend the keratometry below 36 so any cornea if you are not able to do uh, below 36 diopter you can use minus 1 so you will we are going to put this in front of the objective and see so we have used 7.5 uh, mm of the cornea which was 45 diopter and let me see now again this is out of focus i will have to focus this minus one diopter with the extension of the keratometry we got value of 52 on both the meridian so for 52 diopter we will have to see the calculation how much value we have will we were able to decrease that so with minus one diopter if the reading was 52 diopter we will have to multiply 0.84 to this the value has come like 43.68 so now you can see from 52 we are able to decrease the value and with plus 1.25 we extended the keratometry value from 39 to 46 diopter approximately so this is how the extended keratometry can be done plus 1.25 and minus 1 are the two golden uh, lenses which you can use to extend the keratometry plus lens will extend up to plus 9 diopter it can increase and minus 1 diopter it can decrease up to minus 6 uh, up to 6 diopter of the k value so this will increase up to 9 diopter this will up to 6 diopter below 36 so friends i hope you like the video if you think this was informative and it can be useful in any way to anyone please share it ahead and do subscribe the channel if you have not done so far keep following optometrials for many more such informative videos